So guys, I'm going to cook. Hello favorite, you're welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, my name is Doris. I'm a mom, a wife, a Cameroonian, a faith-based content creator, a businesswoman, and most especially that Christian woman. So today's vlog, I'm just going to share with you how I spend my day at home sometimes. Um, and while i show you that we're just gonna chat about some of the things that i have been going through and that has happened to me since i got married or i remarried so i was talking about gaining a lot of weight and how people have been asking me are you pregnant how you don't fat so you know a broken pigeon and for me i really do not find that question bad based on your tone because from the tone you can tell if a person is being rude or being sarcastic or just being funny you know but everyone that had asked me has been nice about the question you know so it's very okay and i know that for most women sometimes they don't like that question because it gets you to start feeling not so comfortable with your body and it gets you to begin to lose your self-confidence i thank god that i'm one of that person that i don't let external factors influence me like that um i have lived my life from a very humble beginning so i always focus on my part on what i want and what i can do at a particular time hence even when i was getting married i didn't do anything to lose weight simply because even my own marriage could not push me to lose weight when i wasn't ready on losing weight so i always live my life based on me what i can do at a particular time but i understand that for most women this might let you to lose um your self-confidence i just want to encourage you today to understand that you're beautiful regardless of how heavy or light you feel the most important thing we should bother about is our health is the overweight causing us health issues then um you might want to think of how to get back on it as fast as you can not because other people want you to do so or not because some other external factors want you to do so um so right here i was just warming the food and at the same time i was also making um fresh pasta sauce for my kids because they requested that they wanted to eat pasta sauce um and um and pasta so i was making that for them why myself and my husband were gonna eat the leftovers food so as a wife or as a mom you understand that multitasking is one of that thing that we need to do but sometimes if you do it too much you might end up not doing everything you want to do good or you might end up breaking yourself and getting very tired so even though i like to multitask i like to multitask with those things that are almost good together for example while i am cooking i go ahead and clean as i cook i don't um, use stuff and keep them use stuff and keep them so that at the end of my cooking period i have a lot of things to clean no so while my pot is maybe simmering or boiling or frying i go ahead and clean the things that i have used before now that way i'm not wasting time maybe on my phone or on a phone call i just focus on the kitchen and i clean as i go so that's one tip that helps me to um to speed up my cooking process and my after cooking cleaning process and also this is a tip because it gets to leave your kitchen very very clean um, um, because sometimes if you are cooking at, at the end of the thing you are so tired you might be like, okay let me sit down a bit when I'm done resting then I might come and clean and as a mom 
you might go and sit down the next thing your child needs you as a wife you might go and sit down the next thing maybe your husband needs you for this or you need to do this and you end up not even having the time to clean and if you're married to that kind of a man who do not understand that they might come in to help like my husband then you might go to bed leaving your kitchen very dirty because you're tired however i'm not saying that this should be a strict rule that days where you might find yourself having things in your kitchen and it's okay to go to bed you know once in a while it's okay so since we're talking about weight weight loss in this video i started my weight loss process or i like to call it my healthy journey process so i just remember that i had to take my vitamins and um those are some of the things that i have been doing going slowly but surely on making sure that i get my health back and this decision i was taking when i was ready nobody coerced me to get into that i just felt like it was time where i was mentally um and physically ready to get into this journey so yeah So while my food is cooking, I just go ahead and clean everything that I have used, dry them and put them back. At the end of a, of a cooking process, I can clean three or four times. After eating, I clean. So by the time I'm leaving the kitchen, the kitchen is breathing good, smelling good. Now you might want to say this will work for someone who is staying at home like today. I was at home. 24 hours even though i started vlogging around 10 a.m where i decided you know what let me share this segment of my life with you um now staying at home and being a stay home mom is nothing it's not something i've ever ever wished for myself or i can recommend for everyone because i'm a very entrepreneurial person i always encourage women to make sure that they can earn and bring something financial on the table because trust me we're already bringing a lot on the table as a woman and especially as that true christian woman we we know how to nurture our family how to take a care of our family how to build our home and i feel like it's also okay to contribute financially to the table so staying at home and just being a 24 hours housewife is not something i recommend and it's not something that i do so why am i home i'm home because i'm not doing a regular nine to five job that's just an agreement between myself and my husband um my husband believe in me so much he knows that i can stay at home and make as much money um um, as if I went out of my house to do nine to five and stress my body and broke my back. So I stay at home. I run a business called DR4 Flavors. I'll leave a link in the comment section. Um, so when I stay at home, that's what I'm doing. And also, since I'm back on YouTube, I also try to schedule YouTube videos. I try to shoot YouTube videos and I try to edit them. But most often when I'm home, I'm doing my online business. My main online business is DRFO Flavor where I sell African flavors from African ingredients to African food stuff like fish, crayfish, kandao, cow skin, um, and so many other um, spices like mpu fish, um, country onion, so many. I'll leave a link below. rested if you notice i was eating with my air pump that's because after eating i still go ahead to clean my kitchen because i don't want to leave dirty things in the sink it helps me it keeps me motivated and um just make me feel happy at the end of the day because when places are cluttered i don't function well i don't think well and so i always try my best is, is it easy no it's not easy now that i'm married i'm living with my husband for the very first time so it's kind of difficult because he is that kind of a person that sometimes he forgets he picks things and he drops them where it's not supposed to be and i am that kind of a person that i love things to be put back where they were you know i love to have a dry sink i don't have, like to have things littered around my kitchen so it's kind of difficult working with an adult because i don't have to 
I don't know if I can use this word control my husband. I just need to have a conversation with him like I did and he understands. So he makes the effort. So it's not easy also for my kids. They are kids. And so this is a training process for them as well. So, um, but I, I love the fact that my elder son, Nathan, um, really understands that mommy doesn't like things to be everywhere. So after they eat also, I'm really training them on how to clear their table and how to clean the table even though I'll come back later to do it again. So at the end of the day, you see, I was done and I take out my apron only when my kitchen is in order. Those things that were already washed, I just needed to pack them. So if you enjoyed this vlog, if you learned one or two things, let me know in the comment section. The main changes for me is learning how to live with a man in the same house. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember, God loves you and you're God's favorite.